You know, in a world of shit, shit mods, you can always trust one to be some good bloody fun. G'day mates, and welcome to Kaiser Reich. This is the new update 0.5 Higher Safari. So they've added a fair few new focus trees, but I saw one, and I decided immediately what I was going to play. You already know this, of course, because of YouTube title. I don't know why I ever even try and play it off. Come on, you know exactly what I'm going to do. Oh, Ilaria. Pity. No, 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 no. Yep, you fucking betcha. We're playing as legation cities. It's gonna be delicious. Now, I'm trying to remember, Australia has a focus tree, doesn't it? Or does it not? I think Australia doesn't have a focus tree yet. Because I don't recall ever playing it. I definitely would have played if it did. Smuggling in Shanghai. That's what I'll be doing in a moment. Sorry, I just faded away from the mic there. I had to go press me time the button. Had to go press fighting a land war in Asia. Why is this so appropriate? Kaiserreich 0.5. So, um... I kind of want to remove this. I kind of want to remove this. I want it to be hell on wheels I'm doing it. Oh, for fuck's sake, you have to do, like, the fucking... Hang on, here we go. Event. Yes, Kaiserreich, I realize that you hate fun. Okay, no, so, like, this mod is very well made, but I still wish it would open up a few more of the, uh, political spectre. I can go wild! <laughs> Excellent. I am a bad person, I should feel bad. Well, then. But, you know, I do find it more fun when, uh, chaos can happen. It's def... I, I will give the credit. Kaiserreich keeps the chaos to the minimum because of what it does. Um, as opposed to Road 56, which just expands upon the chaos. But when I'm playing something like the Legation Cities, I need chaos. So, uh, let's look down the focus trees first. Struggle for Shanghai! The Commissioner, Gordon! Gordon's here! He can take control. So we shall end the Legation Cities mandate. We can warn this is going to be a dangerous path to tread. So we basically go Authoritarian Dem. Authoritarian Dem. Reforging the economy. Okay, so that removes economic meltdown. The mandate prevails! Uh, we shall keep the legation city's mandate, and by extension keep the support of the legation council. Uh, this is all social conservatives, and electronics, and corruption elimination, and reinforcing the economy, and economic boom! I like everything ends up with the economic boom thing. Knight of the Monkey's Head. We shall end... So what's like the difference here? Hang on. Struggle for Shanghai. Legation cities have always been lawless. <laughs> We're just a bunch of frontier towns. But the recent downturn in the global economy has made matters worse. Smuggling into Ag... Alg... Oh, fucking... How do they say this? Algost Essen? Algost Essen territory? Has increased. I realise that's probably not how you say it. And the Legation Council has been unable to pay its civil servants for several months now. We've always needed to work with the secret criminal fr fraternities. What? This is amazing already. But now it seems like they're taking on more power than our government. So, we have secured, we've gone through and we kept with the mandate, the Commissioner. During an emergency, uh, after an emergency session, the Legation Council has been decided that during this unprecedented crisis of our legate, uh, allegation mandate is suspended and I will rule as representative of the entire Council. As in me, Cecil Clementi, and the Knight of the Monkey's Head. Big Ears Do has taken advantage of this e economic difficulties in Shanghai and other legation ports to become the undisputed master of the extensive criminal network, Chris! Yes! Yes! We are going to play the mastermind of criminals. This is fucking perfect. I love this mod. Oh my god. Crisscrossing the autonomous cities. However, total political troll has thus far escaped him. He consults his soothsayer to see what the omens have in store. <laughs> Fuck, that's amazing. And then, after the stunning massacres of the Knight of the Monkey's Head, um, then we need to decide who takes control. We can focus on opium. Yay! <laughs> Cigarette counterfeiting. Oh my god, passport counterfeiting. Strengthen our smugglers. Oh my god. Human trafficking! Expanded entertainment! I, I hope you heard the air quotes there, because Jesus fucking Christ, we're just talking about smuggling sex slaves. Come on. I do quite enjoy this, though. God damn. Oh my god. She goes opium, he goes protection rackets and arms trade. And this creepy fucker just brings in sex slaves. Big ears do. But then look, let's have a look over here. So, we've got the Defense Force. 
which is uh, defense. Chinese citizens do not want to sign up. A large part of the population is made of foreigners. We can either expand the police forces. Cool. And then, you know, more police force. So what's that really do? We'll expand the police force and mobilize new units. Nice. So it sort of buffs our lads up. And then we could actually get in the 49ers. Oh my god, the, um... Oh, what do you call them? I think these were in, um... Shadowrun Dragon... No, not Dragonfall. Uh, Hong Kong had uh, the 49ers and stuff. On, or, like, a version of them. Um, we can recruit the bl the Blue Lanterns within the city. Oh, my God. And then we can delegate that to the Red Pole and get Triad Gangs. That's kind of fucking amazing. So you can get Triad Gangs in. I mean, I'm just kind of sad that we don't get to mobilize new units, but... Yeah. I think I might go the Triad line there. We can go Dockyards, sure. Far East Command. Look, this is amazing. Let's go struggle for Shanghai first. This is all too... This just makes me too happy to be playing this. Okay. Let's get stuck in. So where do we actually have? Those are our four territories. Oh, five territories. Holy shit. Okay. I assume we don't have anywhere else. No? It's all just in Asia. Yep. Cool. Okay. We don't have any bloody civvy factories, so we'll be sure to fix that problem. We've got... Yeah, it's all just 50 infrastructure. Okay. Right, we'll do that. Cool. That'll work. That'll do a pig. That'll do. Um, now, I am really tempted to immediately start <laughs> researching nukes so I can be the only criminal mastermind in the world with actual nuclear weapons. Um, but I think for now we'll just go on our good old standard construction build. Good stuff. Gun-wise, basic guns, bit of support equipment. Have we actually got fighters already? We do too. We've got tactical bombers. About to be in the hands of a criminal fucking mastermind. We've got mobile police, police district, and defense force. Huh. Well, I'm almost certainly going to switch you boys up. We've only got 3,000 manpower currently. Oh, God. Oh, we are fucked if things go down. I'm just going to get all these lines ready. Alright. Oh, we're going to need some commanders. Oh, my God, the commanders are amazing. Mr. Anton Barkhorn. I'll be honest, you don't look like one, but, uh, maybe that's just me. Hey, Portugal, how you doing? God, we're gonna need to uh, spend a bit of political power. The good thing is we start relatively stable, so that's nice. There's also uh, events regarding us. Okay. And... Here we go. I'll name them as, uh, as time goes on and they become relevant. But cool. There we go. Oh, fucking hell. We have so many little districts that need their own uh, repairing. There we go. Cool. We got five districts. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. Cool. I think we're ready to roll then. Good stuff. Uh, we can't get any resources because we'll just actually run out of uh, civvy factories. Okay. Let's see. How much manpower do we have overall? 11 million. Shit. Okay. President Korinsky. Um, who's Sir Harold McMichael? We need to get rid of him, clearly. Oh, we will when we switch up to being a fucking gangster! Hmm. <laughs> He's an efficient sociopath. Efficient sociopath, rather. Your country has no. Your country has no. Your country has no. Thank you, game. <laughs> well, I'm sad that we don't have a theorist. Black Monday, mine got! Thankfully, Black Monday doesn't seem to affect us, despite being legation cities, which I think would probably be pretty related to economic stuff, but okay. We don't have a navy. And to be fair, I don't like how we're actually currently, like, nestled up against the biggest East India trade company in the world. Um, and also the Qing Empire, so... You know. Not feeling great here. Yeah, you still don't have a bloody, uh, focus tree. How dare you? How dare you not? God, who, who could we legitimately invade? There's, there's Japan. We've got... Ge wait, select this back. We've got Germany. <laughs> the Great Charlie Chaplin! <laughs> You're fucking kidding me! <laughs> Visits Shanghai! The Great Charlie Chaplin has decided to visit Shanghai. Well, in more recent times, fuck off. His films have been labelled as provocative, provocative or censored for being syndicalist propaganda. There is no such problems here. Chaplin took a tour of our, uh, of our own opera houses and then attended a showing of Modern Time, subtitled for the native audience. Audience, fucking eh. We hope he comes again. I wonder if he, if every country in the world eventually gets that event. He just occasionally visits every single country. Be great. Be fucking great. 
Right, what do we want? A bit more mechanical computing. But yeah, I think that like the best choice for invasion would be Portugal and just steal Macau and then uh, hope that Portugal doesn't try and, you know, get anything back from me. They're not in a faction, are they? No, nope. well, Portugal's going to be the first one I attack then. Once I figure out how boats work. Um... Oh yeah, I'm actually getting marines too, but I think my police force should do. I'll just send in the Hong Kong police district to navally invade Macau. <laughs> God damn it, this is dumb. Oh man. I do quite enjoy this. We need to make the legation cities the biggest empire on earth. It's gonna be amazing. Start training our boys up, get them ready. Yeah, hang on, I need to your seat. Ah. Right, um. Roll up a few more of these. Struggle for Shanghai! Potential increase in stability. I underhand how to, st how to raise my stability. Fuck off! Um, look at like that arm straight that's looking quite nice. Ooh. 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 -ooh. Reinvest our profits. Hmm. I'm just tempted to go down here and get like, I assume these give me units when I do them. Maybe these, because it says this gives me units, but maybe these give me units too? I don't know. Let's just, night with the monkey's head. Apparently this is going to have repercussions, but fuck the world! Um, what do we even want? Some sort of school of defense maybe? Revolution in Siam! Hang on a second. Let's look over here. Wait, that's... Lads, there's not... I guess, it was, was it peaceful or something? There's nothing, nothing really happened. Okay. Yeah, who do we want to buy? Oh, infantry equipment? Does that make it cheaper? No, it makes it better. Not what I need. I guess let's just do industrial company and get that research down. I always buy it way too late for it to actually matter. Well, fucking too early at this point. Um... Let's get better guns, shall we? I'll probably run two lots of, uh, sort of, electronic industry and then a gun or whatever. And then later on... Actually, I can't even get... Whoa! The international mandate! 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 And then Hong Kong Syndicalist Association, Shanghai Radical Socialist Party, Shanghai Totalist Party, United Triads! Yes! Yes, this is happening. This is occurring. God damn right. After the stunning massacres of the Knight of the Monkey's Head, the Triads now solely in control of the Legation Cities and must decide between them who should be the head of the dragon. Alright. Look. Look, I'm tossing it here. Oh! <laughs> God damn it, I just read that fucking tooltip. Yes! Long live our hung brothers! May they be stiff in the face of opposition. May they stand strong in the wind. May they be at full mast in the sails of time. Our hung brothers indeed. <laughs> After consulting with his soothsayer, Big, Big Ears do ordered an orgy of violence. <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> Against legation officials culminating in the full seizure of power by the Sun, uh, by the Sun Yi On and Green Gang Coalition. With their power structures merged as one, they have formed a united council of dragon heads, formalizing their rule over the cities. While international powers are concerned, the promise of continuing trade and increased tariffs have stayed their hand for now. Long live our hung brothers! Excellent! Oh my god, we are the Triad Syndicate! This is amazing! I never thought I'd play the fucking Triad Syndicate in Hearts of Iron in a serious mod. I fucking love this. This is great. Let's see our people. So, we've got someone who's already causing us issues. Someone who's also got- You're just as bad as the first guy! Well, you're actually a little bit better, but still. Um, she's decrypting people. She's the cloak and dagger schema. And we've got a lot of bloody consumer good fucking giant cunt bastards. I guess I can't actually switch- Oh, here we go, we've got a corrupted- Oh, he's just terrible. Why would I ever choose him? God, no. Now we need to decide, do we focus- Okay, so, let's read their bios and we'll, we'll you know, compare them side by side- Oh, check on time, side by side. So she is 22 years of age, she's not seem like likely she is uh, medium rise though, mass scale of opium. This is just civvy factories though, I'm not sure I like that. I do, uh, 
Big Ears do is the safest and likeliest choice. It's thanks to him and his fucking soothsayer. Um, we're talking about an arms trade. That's pretty good. Protection records. That's okay. And then minus five civvy goods. That's not too bad, you know? But honestly, as much as I hate to say it, <laughs> he advocates to increase the, a massive increase to the vices that we provide and sponsor and to take a greater share of the profits. We're going with old fucker here. Because think about the math, right? Overall, he's going to give us a minus 10% consumer goods with three civvy factories. This lady over here only gives us, gives us six civvy factories. This boy here gives us two civ, two military, right? And a minus 5%. This guy overall is going to be more effective at, uh, at running this bloody country. Huang Jin Rong. Get in here. Hi, popularity. Everyone fucking loves the triads taking over. This is brilliant. Oh my god. Ignore me, we're just preparing for war. God damn. This is good shit. Okay. Probably should build some- Oh, why do they have- <laughs> I realize that they're police, but I really should unequip them from having military police, but I don't have enough army experience to do that. Oh well. But yeah, if I had to attack anywhere, it would probably be Portugal, like a quick naval invasion across. Because everyone else is tied to someone. Although, probably the Philippines. Who are you with? Oh, Puppet of America. God damn it. Um, Middle Europe, obviously. I mean, if I could somehow invade Siam, although, I, like, I would not manage even slightly. The Second Russian Civil War! Merely 20 years ago, in the first, in the last years of the Weltkrieg, the Russian Empire collapsed in turmoil, ripped apart between the nationalist movements, the Whites and the Reds. After a German intervention, the Republican government defeated the Bolsheviks, but it appears the Russian revolutionary spirit was not extinguished. After ineffective land reform by the Kerensky government, and austerity measures to pay off the Brest-Litvosk uh, rep uh, reparation, uh, reparations, fucking shite, as well as crisis in the government after the president's assassination, the cities in the western part of the nation have been engulfed with the red tide once more. Will Bukharin Soviet R uh, Russia prevail, or will the loyalists of the white government defeat the dissenters a second time? A troublesome development. God, I love that voice. Um, oh, fuck. Oh, wait, right. They said western cities. Still, they're the good cities. Moskova. <laughs> Why do I know that the rest of that picture is him doing a Slav squat? Um... Perfect. Bloody perfect. Oh, guys! They are the Senate. Let's go! Tibet's ward against the Marquis. Wait, how's Mongolia doing? Have you become... Yes. Yes, he's becoming the greatest carnate. I do love how, like, Europe, super serious. United States, super serious. Everything's super serious. You come over here and you've got fucking Genghis Khan reborn in the triads. <laughs> I love it! Riots and protests at Rangoon University. No one gives a fuck. Strengthen our smugglers. Oh, he's not actually in charge. He's just chilling. Oh, shit, no. He's, oh, he's here. Ambitious union boss is what he is. <laughs> Hyung... I'm going to call him, like, Hung now. Hung Jin Rong crosses the Hung Gate. For fuck's sake, I didn't even read the rest of that sentence, and it's already hilarious. <laughs> After the collapse of the United uh, Dragon Head Council... Huang uh, Jinron has emerged as the preferred leader by the unanimous decision of the ranking triad members. His policy of mass smuggling, prostitution, and counterfeiting seems as the safest option. We salute you, Hung brother! <laughs> May you be firm in your leadership and guide us stiffly towards a. F ah, I already used that one, damn it. <laughs> his name's Dragonhead as well, that's amazing. Oh, it's not name, but his title, rather. His, uh, his role. Fuck me, this, this is honestly amazing. I bloody love it. I fucking love this mod. It's a great one. Um, anything we really want here? Look, a power gain wouldn't be too bad. Too, too bad? Yeah, let's grab a little bit more little power gain, shall we? Good shit. Carabiner, carabiner. Oh shit! Charles Curtis has been elected as the president of USA. That means they might actually avoid the uh, civil war. I doubt it, but they might. Huh. Because you need to um, listen to one, talk to the other, and then assassinate Long, I think is how you avoid the civil war. Yeah, you basically like, you talk to the communists, you accept some reforms, then you assassinate the fascist, or the autocrat rather, 
and uh, and that solves your problem. All right, mobile warfare. Let's do it. I mean, I really should just go for this, but you know. Uh, why am I doing this already? Fucking, I should actually be researching tech that's relevant. Like, engineers. Good stuff. Engineers. The carabiner. Um, and we'll need one of these. Put that there. We'll sort that like so. It's all good. God, we don't have any resources, do we? <laughs> nope. We have nothing. Oh, gee. Here I go, mass producing weapons with no metal again. Oh, sweet Jesus. How citizens are finding our use of local women distasteful. Well, our client... Hang on, just fucking press the button. There we go. And let's get this one done. Fucking shite and burgers. Actually, let's just get you done instead. Oop, thought you were about to crash. All good. Are <laughs> finding our use of local women distasteful while our clientele is now requesting a more exotic variety to choose from. We should seek to bring in more out uh, sorry, bring in outside sources to diversify our talent pools. <sighs> I like how this is convincing enough that five percent less factories will be spent on consumer goods because people are too busy fucking instead. We run a wonderful country. No one can doubt that. It's beautiful. And it's gonna be ten fucking years until we build our first civvy factory. I should probably actually, uh... Switch up to partial mobilization, yeah. I should do exactly that. Oh well, hello, fellow rebelling nation against a uh, superior power. I say as I steal women. Well, uh, good luck with that. I'm sure you'll have good fun. Yes, reinvest our profits. We've now made more than enough capital from our illicit ventures to rid the cities of the economic malaise of corruption not sponsored by us. <laughs> corruption not sponsored by us. The rest of it, that's okay. And encourage foreign capital to return under our new protection. Wow, okay. So, we gain plus 30 efficiency, 10% consumer goods, ah oh well. 15% factory output, 15% national unity, and we lose minus 20% efficiency. Wow, we're going to be super fucking efficient is what I'm saying. And we're going to be super fucking factory output is what I'm saying. And we're going to be super national unified is what I'm saying. Oh my god, this... <laughs> fuck's sake. With the acquisition of our newly expanded workforce, we are better able to serve our patrons' needs and bring in even more capital, which can be reinvested in the cities. We are running a giant fucking brothel. That's all that is happening here. Don't question it, that's what's occurring. Polisi, guess what? You've got engineers instead of cops now, enjoy. Yay, the Spanish Civil War, yay, let's go have a look at that. That looks like fun. Wow, it's like a Napoleon. Napoleon? Neapolitan, that's the word I was looking for. The ice cream. <laughs> Honestly, I w what sort of ice cream would a Napoleon be? It just starts off a little bit French, and then it just starts absorbing other cultures. Um, God, can we... <laughs> I always love zooming in and just seeing it. Triad Syndicate <laughs> across one side of the country. How strong is the Quinn Empire? Oh, never mind. How strong is the Aegeologists? Never mind. Although, they only have four military factories. Ooh. We could do it. We could totally... Ah, uh, never mind, they're a puppet of the German Empire. Never fucking mind. So, lads, I'm gonna put forwards an idea. We need to build a boat. <laughs> we need one boat, precisely. We need to build a boat. Bulgaria and Serbia have chilled out, that's cool. But guess what? We need a boat. And I realise that we're currently building a civvy factory very fucking slowly, but we need a boat. One boat. When we get that boat, we can sail on over to Portugal and take that. And then we have more boats, probably. I don't know how this works at this point. I've just been sort of making it up. Reinvest our profits! That's actually going to speed everything up so much. Okay. Boost up Barati. And now we can get our uh, expand our force. Oh, shit! Let's get the dockyards first so we can start building that boat I was talking about. I, have I even researched boats yet? What sort of boats have I got researched? God. I like how it's already, it's like not even halfway through the first episode and we've already finished most of the tech tree, or the focus tree rather. We can build a destroyer. 
I mean, that's not a bad idea. Just build some destroyers. Stick them on the coast. Syndicalism spreads to Burma. That's not good. Uh, and then we can invade in. Let's go limited conscription. Actually, wait, no, no, stop, stop, stop. I was saving this for a reason. Oh, we can't go extensive yet. I'm an idiot. Never fucking mind. Um, United Baltic Duchy declared war on the Kingdom of Estonia. Declared war on Latvia. Whoa, 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 what? What's happening? Are you trying to break free? Or... Oh, wait, no, you rebelled. What the shit? Okay, so, like, Latvia and Estonia have, like, tried to break up. And, uh... And fucking... That's kind of cool. I didn't realize that was a thing that could happen. Huh. Well, that's neato. And then there's em Emancipation is, like, a multicultural state, liberal duchy, autonomy... So that's like where you sort of like free up the birth of the Baltic Federation. I love, I love that. They've done that. It's so bloody cool. Uh, also, Flanders Wallonia. Oh my god, there's a Flanders Wallonia. Holy shit, it was created. These guys now have a tech tree. Um, a, a bloody focus tree. And apparently, apparently, you can... Wait, no, say it ain't so. That's Verdinazo. No, 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 no. No, where's Rex? No, come on. I, I, I can't see Rex nowhere. And you all know who led Rex, didn't you? You all know who led Rex quite well. Hmm. 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 I'm a little bit afraid that you can't get Leon the Grill to run the country. Although there is a Belgian Lion Wars once more. 4% fucking population, god damn! Oh, when did we get 100,000 manpower? How did this happen? Holy shit! We need to build units, damn it! Ah, damn it! Um, mobile police district. How can I help? Okay, we're gonna build six of them. Oh fuck, we can only stick them in Shanghai. Alright. Actually, we'll do three and two. There we go. Okay, and being honest, since we're never really going to have to defend any one point at once, we're just going to stick them all in the one army. And we're just going to call it the Triad Army. It's going to be sick. Okay, here we go. Well, Mr. Anton, nice and happy, running the army. These are the Triads. Actually, I'm going to call them the 49ers. I'm pretty sure the 49ers are a gang in real life, uh, which is what they're based off. Is, that, is it 40... How do you actually... Sp yeah, it is. Yep, cool. Oh, Estonia got annexed. No, totalists. Oh shit, there's totalists. No, not the totalists. The totalists, my favorite faction. Okay, so there's destroy models, naval doctrines. Let's get the defense force, shall we? And let's build ourselves some boats. So we're gonna want probably five boats. And we shall put them at Shanghai. And then that'll all the boats we shall need. Because they're, what, 250 manpower apiece, five boats? That's fine, yeah. Sucks up about 1,000 manpower. And that's enough boats. Oops, we should be doing this a little bit back. All good. We want free trade. Can't go war economy yet. We could boost it to better stability. Hell yeah. Uh, can we get the... Nope. Can we... What can we get? Bloody near on nothing is what we can get. We can get tanks. We can invent a fucking tank. I'm going to get the field hospital for now just because I'm feeling like we're really going to need it. Like, really badly going to need it. Like, really quite necessarily require one. Um, I guess we'll all sit down uh, near where Portugal's invasion's going to happen. Because you're the first we're going to go to war with. Let's start justifying that war goal. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Oh, fucking A. Latvia's gone. Declared on Transamur. Oh, we could have gone in on Transamur. Whoa, shit, they're a little bit bigger than I thought. Holy fuck. Yeah, okay. Goddamn. But I'm thinking we could probably... Um, okay, here's what I'm thinking, right? We rush down the AGL. Uh, it's called AOG. A AOG, rather. We rush down the AOG. Um, we knock them out real quick. Which... I I think it's gonna be a challenge. They've got four factories. The problem is they'll get like lend-leased equipment. Yeah, they definitely have too many. Nah, they're too tough. 
I was thinking like if we rush them down and then we just have to quickly deal with the Germans before they can get a foothold and then we can hold ourselves here for a while but I think for now we need to rethink our plans that may not work what are we doing? Um, let's do these. Sure, sure. Incorporate the forty nine. Oh, we can't actually can't even do the uh, defense force. God damn. Incorporate the forty ers Hell yeah. Let's hope we actually get forces. Um, let's start our plan for our naval invasion as well. This is beyond ridiculous that we. <laughs> the Shanghai police force navally invading Macau. Of course we are. Yep, this is occurring. Um, what do we bloody well want? I think we can finally go down our uh, mobile warfare tree and get that extra bit of manpower. Good stuff. We have a surprising amount of manpower, actually, for a tiny, teeny, tiny nation. Declare war on the. Uh, oh right, yeah, big old bloody civil war in it. If we look here, yeah, the recruitment crisis is currently happening, but we will fix that when we hit the end of the tree, I think. Oh, we'll actually never fix it. We'll just sort of alleviate it. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Acquire fighter designs. Yup. Good. What else is it? I like how, like, massively uninteresting these other trees are. But what is this? This can be a dangerous path to tread. I'm wondering if we'll get, like, events or something. With people being like, Hey, maybe we shouldn't let a triad just run a country like multiple cities this is so shutterrun esque I fucking love it um national protection agency uh, alliance rather and uh, declare we're on the national protection alliance I like how that's a country is the national protection alliance it's these lads he's un undistinguished suit apparently and they declared war on these lads who is not an undistinguished suit unfortunately incorporate the blue lanterns Oh man, it doesn't actually... Oh man. I thought it would bloody uh, give me units. I guess maybe this will, but I don't think it will. Damn it. Ah oh, well. Okay, not to worry. <laughs> Fucking, let's get our bombers over here. <laughs> Ready for our invasion of Macau. How long before our first boat? Oh, not too long. We will actually be able to do this. I suppose we should probably start actually uh, prepping the war, shouldn't we? Good, good. It'll be done in 1938. Oh, sorry, at October 1938. October. That did, oh, fuck, what's that voice? It was, um... Doing that voice reminds me of the guy from uh, Invictus. That good old lad. Oh, hello, hello, hello. The second Valkyrie's on. Well, this happens a bit early, doesn't it? Oh, shit. Shit's kicking off. Okay, and in the left corner, oh, the Austrian sphere is actually a country. Oh, uh, sorry, a fucking... <gasps> no, Flanders Walloon! Um, is a bloody faction, rather. Ash, what it's called? Got the Middle Europa and the Third International! And I do believe the Third International is going to fall. Oh, that's weird. As he walks over Flanders Walloon, he turns it from Communist Flanders Walloon. Wait, no. Was it? I think it was communist. Uh, into authoritarian Dem Flanders Wallone. <laughs> That's kind of neat. I like that it's happening. Let's keep upgrading. What else do we want? Oh, hell yeah, we can get the next level of that. Pretty bloody cheap. You can probably get... Yup, you. Good stuff. The Ottoman Empire declared war on Kurdistan. Those poor Kurdistanis. If only they could stay free. Um, what do we want? Oh my god, School of Mass Combat? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're going with that, because I need more men. Give me more men, damn it! I need more guns at this point, too. Holy shit. Um, let's add your boys here. Deploy you! Deploy in Shanghai. Oh, we got our first boat! Yes! Initiate the Blue Lanterns. <laughs> that is a silly name. Um, and delegate to the Red Pole. Is that just... Uh, this is like the Samurai Pole, which is uh, pretty neat, but now that we have a staff to maintain defense force, we should seek to delegate the commands of each unit to separate cities' red poles and allow them to deal a large uh, a large deal of autonomy in how they maintain their force. Huh. No! 
Nice. Cool. All right. That's pretty neat. neat. Oh, that is it is. We'll grab our boats. We will. We will. We'll send them over here. And we'll send them on convoy escort. And we'll call in an admiral. Lucas Sherman. You look like a Sherman. No, he doesn't. Uh, let's switch you up to going to Triad Syndicate. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Um. Shit. Hmm. Oh, of course. Of course. Since, uh, since, you know, criminals, pirates, we are therefore the boats that rocked. Beautiful. Um. And our police forces now have artillery. When was it the last time you saw a police force armed with... <laughs> with fucking field artillery? Oh, God. No oh, shit. Mongolia's going up. It's going up in the in the ranks. Actually, I suppose I can just switch around. We don't need the rest of you guys. I'm sorry, you're all going to become mobile police forces now. Deal with it. It's what you are. It's what you're always destined to be. Old Empire declared war on Cyprus. Poor old Cyprus. Always just trying to make a change. You boys can practice up. And I think we are good. Keep on uh, training a few more divisions and we'll be nice and happy. The question is, what were these 50 tactical bombers doing before now? Just sort of just chilling? Were they, were they perhaps dropping supplies when police officers need a new pack of donuts or something? What? How were they helping police this fucking world? These are tactical bombers, damn it. And they have one pretty specific job and that's to bomb shit. The Canadian Commonwealth has gone to war with the Union of Britain. And nothing's probably going to happen because they're too far apart. Good luck. I know that you want to go back and save your lads, but you can't. Oh, hang on a second. Was that just Quebec as an independent nation? I kind of want to go release as Qu uh, Quebec as an independent nation. Is that a thing that you can do by focus nowadays? Um, Royal Disloyal. Yes. Uh, I wonder, can you? Australasia Investments. The Union of South Africa has declared war on the Union of South Africa. God damn it. I was going to say, Homecoming Planning. <laughs> That's a great name for that. Holy shit. Um, I was going to say, attack the Union. That's fine. Is there any way to just release Quebec, I wonder? God save the king. I don't think you can. No, I can't see any. Maybe, maybe it's like a event or something. Okay. How you doing? How you doing? Oh, you've actually changed your name now. Damn it. You know, the Zud Afrikaans Republic. Paternal autocrats versus social conservatives. Who will win? Wait a second, what? Why is South Rhodesia involved in this war? Oh, you're the puppet. Okay. Hey, we delegated the Red Pole. Nice luck. Um. Now that we're running out of things, I guess Far East Command? Out. Air Force is in terrible state. We only have the odd scout bite planes, no real airfields to speak of, and our Air Force is led by a stunt pilot. Question. In what world is an old scout biplane a tactical bomber? Because, Jesus Christ, you're doing some serious stunts in that. The fall of Petrograd. Uh, in which favor, I wonder? Oh. Oh, definitely the, um... Wait, are you in the third, uh... Oh, you are too. Oh, you poor fucker. You poor fucker. Um, the Russian army, the Soviet army, Russian women. Oh, it's Soviet and Russian, right? So it's Russians versus Russians. They took Petrograd, and whoop de fucking do. The uh, Soviet Union is about to fall. Poor lads, poor fucking lads. They thought they had it all. I do like how communism has sort of failed. So oh, maybe not if this pushes back, but still. Um, like in Asia, it's still pretty much right. Oh, I mean, it's not actually, it's not here, it's not, it's here, they're totalists here, but not anywhere else, I don't think. I don't think there's too many other communists. Um, no, I think it's pretty much centered around Europe at the moment. There might be some over here. Oh, never fucking mind, there's some communists. Exactly what I was referring to. They're probably going to get crushed. We'll see. Um, ah oh yes, the Caribbean Federation. Central America, damn it, the syndicalists won the war. Okay, so, cent so Central America, pretty, uh, pretty syndicalist. Europe a little bit syndicalist. And, uh, rise of the Mongol Empire! 
Yes! <laughs> this is where we end it. So, news and reliable sources of them are scarce in the vast plains of Mongolia, but it's recently come to light that the mad baron of Mongolia, Roman Ung Ungern von Sternberg, has risen to new heights and declared himself to be the successor to Genghis Khan, appropriately named himself Ungern Khan. It is now known that what, uh, what this change will entail, though. The Mongolian army has already defeated the Marklik and, the Ver and von Sternberg has declared his right to reign over all Mongolians numerous times before. Experts deny the possibility the Mongolians could pose a threat to the established powers in the Far East. But the Fresh Khan's ambition can only grow higher. You can't get any more insane than that, and that is where we're gonna leave it. Thank you all for watching. Fuck me. This is what I love about Hearts of Iron. My god, it's fun. It's clean, it hasn't exploded, basic game features still function, and would you look at that, there's only one fucking infantry equipment! I'll see you next time.